Yo, 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 it's D Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about why all women are attracted to you when you go on semen retention. People say they have a type, yada, yada, yada. You may have a type, she may have a type, but in the gist of everything, there is a universal language of attraction. And when you go on semen retention, you subconsciously are displaying these behaviors universally. And this is why all women are, could be attracted to you because you're displaying universal signs of attraction based off how you're acting. It's based off how you're acting. It's more, this, this is a lot more subtle than you, than you previous, previously thought it was. This has to be a lot more subtle than you previously thought it was because it's based off how you're acting. It's based off your non-neediness. It's based off your abundance. It's based off your laid back aura, your banter, and your ability, your ability to even tell her the truth at some, at some, some sometimes. The reason why is because when, you, when you're on attention, you just feel a lot more confident that you have nothing to hide anymore. Think about it, think about it. And also, semen retention is not monk mode. Semen retention is not monk mode. It's a, it becomes a way of life. And we're only, we only really ejaculate with the girl that we feel like we want to do it with. Because we realize that when you, when you just hit it with any, any, any girl that you get post nut syndrome you might you might as well have been better off using that energy to hit your goals this is this is the perspective i'm talking about when we when you go on semen retention now it's a universal language all women would be attracted to you because you're giving off auras and vibes that are universal this is a universal language there is there is usually there is a certain f um physique there is a certain criteria that some some a lot of girls have they girls tend to like more muscular dudes maybe more handsome dudes more physically fit dudes this is this is probably more of a universal universal um attraction switch when you do this couple with similar retention you're gonna be you're going to be unstoppable because, and it really is, when I talk about semen retention, I'm just talking about the masculine behaviors that you give off subconsciously. This is what I mean when I talk about semen retention, the masculine body language, body language that you give off when you go on retention. You're going to be, the science has proven this. When you go on retention, you're gonna be more optimistic, more energetic, more present, happier, influential, easier to speak your mind, easier to get attraction, more fun with yourself. Well, things are gonna be a lot easier. You have extra energy You're living through life with extra energy amplified. And since life is pretty much about energy, who has it, who exhibits, who exhibits it the most, you have no choice but to attract better quality things, experiences, situations, and perspectives when you go on retention. Retention is not monk mode whatsoever. Retention is not monk mode. We're not just doing this just to stay in. We're doing this to go out. We're doing this to be social. We're doing this to speak. It's a lot easier to go on retention and speak to one before, as opposed to you fapping 10 minutes before you were to speak with a woman. We're doing this for self-improvement. Self-improvement is another big and big thing. So when you go on semen retention, you are carrying out this this universal language of attraction that anybody, any girl would be attracted to. Beyond beyond physical features, it is a language. There is a language of attraction. And this all comes down to your body language, your tonality, how laid back you are, how much of a sense, how much of a sense of humor you have your ability to connect, your ability to engage, 
and your ability to make people feel at ease. These are all, tra all traits that are gonna be easier for you when you decide to retain, when you've been f consistently working out, when you've been meditating, when you've been practicing your social skills. A lot of these things are not so, are not so up to the surface level that you think it is. Everything isn't really, everything isn't sur surface level. A lot of things are subconscious. A lot of things are things that are not talked about. Things are that are hidden. Things are just not said. There's this one time. There's a girl who was saying something. She she meant something totally different, and the average man would probably have taken word for word what she was saying because most men are just logical. But based off how she was saying it, I took it a whole different way, and got to got to a better result. This is this is what I mean. You, there has to be some. You have to, sometimes you just may not have to take things a little bit literal because women are not literal. They can say one thing, but mean totally something totally different. They're just hoping, they're just hoping and praying that you get it. And the few men that get it are the ones who get the things that they want. You have to keep, keep you have to pick up on these subconscious cues, these verbal cues, some of these cues, because this is not, when it comes to attraction, nothing is logical. There is no logic behind any of this. All of this is illogical it's about making her feel a certain way maybe in that specific moment there she might she might still even even if it's like a even if it's like um let's say for an example it's like a text message she doesn't respond to you on text message but you see her in person and then she's acting like nothing happened she's all lovey look dubby and stuff because one thing woman just sometimes are just not don't are not accountable for some of these things which is normal and two they they probably forgot about it or they're just not that they may not just they don't they might not care as much or three they may still like you but they just got caught up in something and they forgot to respond just don't be way too uptight about it this could happen to anybody. This happens to anybody. Don't the problem? The problem is guys get too upset about it too quickly. There is a language to attraction. There is universal languages to attraction that you can go in any place, anywhere, and people can still find you attractive based off how you're presenting yourself, based off your actions, based off how you look, based off your laid back aura, your your ability to socialize in a, in a specific way to get people really intrigued or attracted to you. This is how it. This is how it is. This is how you have to come across. It gets easy once you once you're able to do this for a good amount of times. So it, it is one of the easiest things in the world. But the problem is, guys are way too, like I said, logical. They're too. They don't have that that aura about them that can make them well-rounded. There's, They're only good at a couple things, but they can't be, they're not well-rounded. You have to be well-rounded. Things have, you have to become a well-rounded well individual and you will become a bit more well-rounded once you start practicing things. And once you utilize retention, just because when you go on retention, it's easier for you to partake, to, to articulate certain things that are not said. You have a, it's, it's it, it, you could blame it on your intuition. You usually blame it on your intuition. You blame it on your intuition. You blame it, you can blame it on just your sense of self, your sense of life, your aura and everything like that. And this is what makes people maybe even drawn to you. This, especially if this, especially if you, if you have like, if you work in client facing work, you work with people this is this is how you have the advantage because if they say something it doesn't necessarily mean that they mean it they could just be saying that a lot of people say things they don't they don't mean you have to look at their body language you have to look at you have to look at their how they display how they say it all of these things matter a lot a lot as well too but even as much as what they say this is how you this is how you may have to take out it so there is a universal, you will be universally attractive, universally attractive to, to people in general. And this is how you become, this is how life gets better for you. Because you're saying there's a lot of things that are unsaid, 
but you're getting a lot of attraction. You know how to you know how to get people attracted to you based off how you're acting, how you act. And not, not all of this is super 3D. This is all metaphysical. This is all beyond the physical. This is how you have to what you have to look out for. This is it is also possible to get too much in your head. Sometimes you just have to pretty much take action. Take action and then recount the scenarios back in your head. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next one.